First, let's see how most marine species reproduce. Here we are in the open sea and those little dots you see are eggs. In many cases, once the animals have bred near the coast, their eggs are left alone, carried in the currents for hundreds of kilometers. These eggs give birth to very small larvae which quickly metamorphose and change diet. At this stage, they are called post larvae. Under the influence of currents, these young fish actively seek the shallow coastal waters, attracted by noises and smells emitted by the numerous animals that inhabit these areas. There, those post larvae will find food and shelter to start their growth. However, after a few weeks, only 5 to 10% of them remain. The rest was eaten by predators or disappeared in other ways. This phenomenon is natural but intensified by today's human impact which strongly affects the survival of fish because of noises such as pollution or the destruction of habitats. Some practices are very harmful in the short or long term and are not sustainable. For example, some fishermen practice dynamite fishing. This technique catches fish massively and destroys the reef habitat. Coral reefs need a long time to recover. To protect and restore the reef and its resources for humankind, Sulubai Foundation implements several actions. We create marine protected areas together with the local communities. These areas are no-take zone marked out with bows. Within these areas, we restore the reefs by using artificial structures to fix unstable coral fragments taken from the rubble. We also restore the fish population using the PCC, post larvae capture and culture technique. We catch post larvae at night and raise them for two months in aquarium, which greatly increase their survival chances. When they reach the juvenile stage, we release them in the protected areas. This way, we accelerate the growth of fish communities in the protected areas and count on the spillover effect to repopulate outside of the reserve as well. The most abundant species like rabbit fish will be given to the local villages to be raised for consumption in sustainable small farms. Within a few years, the marine life will become more abundant in the marine protected areas. The bigger fish breeders will repopulate the whole bay and the local communities will have a sustainable management of their resources.